Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a shaft in Autodesk Rent software and learn the Autodesk Rent basic commands. So let's get started. Go to new, take a standard part in millimeter and go to create. Now here take a 2D sketch. We'll select here the XY plane. Take the line command. From the center point we'll start. Okay. So we are going to make a straight line and make the shaft profiles. One profile like this, one like this, one here, one here and one leading profile here and this will be the joining profile. Go to dimension, here I will define this first. Total of 153 mm. Okay. This will be 68 mm. Okay. And the next, this will be 30 mm. And this profile from base will be 112 mm. Okay. And the last profile, this will be 19 mm. Okay, escape. I will drag this up so it will show you the proper dimensions. Okay, so these are the dimensions. Now go to dimension. Now we will define the diameters here. Define this as 8.5. Now you can see when I have defined this, this also defined, this is also defined. So these are parallel to each other. <clears throat> and horizontally constrained with each other. Now we will define this middle. So this will be 6.5 mm and this here will be of 10 mm and scale. Okay, so this will be the profile. Now finish sketch. Now here take revolve. So profile will be selected. So I will select here as a center line and press ok ok so this will be the profile now here i'll click on chamfer and here i'll take distance and angle so the distance will be of 1.5 mm and the angle will be 15 degree ok so or you can take it as 2 mm so it will ask you the face first about which you want to give the angle. So I will select this as the face and this will be the edge. Now when I take the front view, you can see the taper here. Okay. Now press apply. So the chamfer will be applied here. Now I will click on distance. So this will be an equal distance chamfer. So this will be of 1.5 mm. In equal distance chamfer the angle will be 45 degree as you know 1045 is 1 okay now I'll select this edge and this edge and press ok now we are going to make the keyholes now for the keyhole go to plane click on plane select this face go to origin and we are going to select the center plane the exit plane so it will construct a plane tangent to this face. Okay, go to home, select this plane, go to create sketch. Here, go to rectangle and here we will select center to center slot. <coughs> make one slot profile here. And similarly, make one slot profile here. Go to dimension. Define this dimension here as 16 mm. Define the radius of 3 mm. And here define one center from here at 8 mm. Go to horizontal constraint. Select this point and select this point. Similarly, select this point and select this point. Okay. Now go to dimension. Now we will define this. Select this and select this end. Define the distance here 
of 5 mm. Define center to center as 9 mm. Define the radius here as 2.5 mm. Okay, now this is fully constrained. Finish sketch, take extrude, select this profile, select this profile. Now you can see it is going upside. So I click here, distance 2 or direction 2. Take a depth of 3 mm and click on cut. Go to front view. Now you can see a red profile. So it will generate a cut profile here, here and this also. Press OK. Go to home. Now you can see the slotted profile. Select this plane, right click, turn off the visibility. Okay. Now here, select this face, go to create sketch. <coughs> Take the point command. Place one point here. Finish sketch. Take whole command. When I take a whole command, it will automatically select the point. Now I will take here the tabbed hole and the seat will be countersink. Here I will take isometric profile and take a size here of 6. Okay. You can change it to 6. Okay. So it is not a through hole. So I'll click here distance and the total distance of the hole will be 17.1 and the thread distance will be 12. Press OK. I want to make a similar hole this side as well. Rotate the profile. Select this face. Go to create sketch. Take point command. Select the point command here. Finish sketch. Take hole. Now this time we don't have to define these profiles. This is already been taken by the software. Just click here for distance. So it will take the 17.1 and press OK. OK. Go to home. Now here I will give the appearance. I will take the aluminium polished. So this will be the final output. So this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a shaft profile in Autodesk Inventor software. I hope you like the video. If you do that, please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos. Thank you.